Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2017. A lot sooner than I was expecting, but I thought it's our first game back in the Europa League. We have to show it. We have to actually show it. So literally, I've played one game, which I've literally just finished playing it now. 2-1 victory against Tottenham. Thomas Delaney and Manolo Gabbiadini score and Harry Kane got the goal for them. I don't know why I've clicked that, but we were the much better side. I've got some issues with Mario Lamina, however. He has asked to leave because at some point, apparently, I don't remember doing this, I told him that we'd be going to strengthen the midfield. And according to him, we haven't. I'm not sure what Thomas Delaney and Ki Sung Young have to say about it, but apparently we haven't strengthened the midfield. I've just noticed on Ki Sung Young has the preference to play in Australia. Australia? Okay, that's odd. Anyway, today we are going to be playing Sevilla and Chelsea, so two not very easy games at all, and they're actually in very quick succession, so Thursday and Sunday. A win would be nice. We're back up to 12th now in the table, so we're, we're kind of... I'm okay with 12th for now. Let's hope things get better. Why are West Ham doing so well again? It's all Javier Hernandez. All of it. Although, Snodgrass has scored five. What is... Where are they getting all their goals from? Anyway, enough of looking at West Ham. Let's go play Sevilla. I'm going to stick with the same lineup that played so well against Tottenham earlier. So, Fraser Forster in goal, Sebastian Jung, Tenerli, Big Wes and Tierney. That is our back four. That is not going to change very often unless we get a suspension or an injury. That's the back four. Arebus might come in every now and then if someone's a bit tired, but that's the back four. Midfield, Romeo, Kisung Jung and Thomas Delaney. Kravinovic just behind the strikers, which again, this is our two strikers now for the rest of the season. Musa Dembele and Manolo Gabbiadini. That's, in my eyes, that's a pretty strong side. Lamina is on the bench because he's having a strop. And what I've learned from last year is if your player's having a strop, it does affect your entire team's performance. So he's not starting. The bookies make severe favourites. The analysis makes it a draw. I'll take a draw. It is a way. Calmly. Let's, let's go calm. Good luck, good luck, yeah, let's pull off an upset. They, they listen keenly, that's better than nothing. I don't know whether having listened keenly and listened passionately, that's still good, right? That's like, they're still excited, they are paying attention, they're just not like, yeah, let's go kill them kind of thing. So in theory, this is our second trek into Europe in recent years, even though this is this season in real life, it doesn't make too much sense. This is the first highlight, Dembele's coming forward, Pizarro with the tackle... Is that going to end the highlight, or are we going to carry on? It's going to end the highlight. Delaney. Delaney smashes it into Pizarro, and Pizarro's played it clear. And Lapadula, whoever Lapadula is, is one-on-one -on -one with Forster, and Forster tips it wide. Looks like the counter-attack could be something that Sevilla are going to try. Nolito. Key gets it back to Nolito. Nolito just lets it go off the throw on. I've tried to sort out my free kick takers as well. So we should see better free kick takers, better corner takers. Lapadula. Correa. I've realised playing in Europe, there's going to be some really fancy names that I'm going to struggle to pronounce. Tierney. Tonelli gets the ball. I can pronounce these ones. Big Wes. Can't pronounce his name. Tierney. Plays it forward to Kravinovic. Dembele. Dembele's got some options. Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini's going forward. has been tackled. But Jung. Romeo. Kravinovic. Kravinovic goes round him. Gabbiadini's had a shot and it's gone in. Sorry I got a hand to it, but it's gone into the bottom corner. We are 1-0 up at Sevilla in the Europa League. I think this was a good bit of build-up play. Kravinovic gets the ball, takes it round his man. Gabbiadini, lovely first touch, and then left footed into the bottom corner. Well, into the keeper's hands. Should have saved it. I don't care. We're 1-0 up. Straight into a highlight. Ah. Oh, no. Goalkeeper's played it forward to Nolito. Hold on, hold on. Gabbiadini's got it. Kravinovic. Delaney. This is ours. Dembele. Oh, no, 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 they're clearing it. Okay, Big Wes gets it back. Jung. Jung's coming forward. Delaney. Dembele. Kravinovic. Gabbiadini. It's two. It's two in very quick succession. I think it's the 41st and 44th minute, maybe? Delaney gets the ball. Dembele picks it up. Dembele, Kravinovic. Gabbiadini might have been offside. I'm not complaining. Bottom corner, much better finish. Keeper didn't really have too much of a chance on that one. Half time. Quick fire goals has made it 2-0. Don't get complacent. Oh, shut up. No, look, Gavidini. Gavidini, you? I'm very happy with your performance. You're confused. Let's not... Tonelli. 
Tonelli, you're actually playing crap. You know what, Tonelli? Nope, not Joan. Tonelli, you can come off. Let's give Arebus a game. Free kick, Gabbiadini, big Wes, and Arebus on his debut. He's been on the pitch for, what, 12, 13 minutes? He was offside. Damn it. He scored. That counts. Let him, let him score a goal. 85 minutes. I've not really done any subs. 89 minutes. There's no point. I'm just going to give someone a, an appearance bonus at this rate. It looks like it's going to be a 2-0 victory. There's 30 seconds left. DePaul, Makedo, Delaney gets it clear. Gabudini, Kravinovic, Dembele. He's going to run run for it. He's not going to get there, though. Perea, Soria. This is a 2-0 victory against Sevilla in the Europa League. That is a good, good victory. Which, this is Sevilla and Fenerbahce, the two games that we really... If we can get any points at either of those, we should get through this group. So, so far, we've got three points from one of the four games against them. Assertively, people had us written off. Well done. Good job. Dembele wasn't that great. Obviously, Tonelli got subbed. Aribas got a 6.5 as well. There's still room for improvement, but a 2-0 win. Romeu has just been given 175 grand for reaching the Europa League group stage. Why Romeu? That is very good news. That is very, very good news. Following speculation over his Southampton future, box to box midfielder Mario Lamina has revealed he is now set to stay at St Mary's Stadium. Lamini had previously expressed doubts about remaining at the club following concerns over strength of the first team squad, but Stuart Pearce has since bolstered his side with a host of new signings which have proven popular. I haven't heard this from Lamina, this has come from football.guardian.co.uk, but someone must... Is he happy? Is he happy now? He's still very poor, but he has no negatives. So I guess... I guess he is happy. And we are already at the next game, which is against 11th placed Chelsea, who have actually clawed up the league a little bit. We're obviously 12th, so this is a mid-table battle. Somehow Chelsea are a mid-table side right now. The starting lineup for Southampton versus Chelsea, it's very similar. Once again, Fraser Forster in goal, the same back four. Jung, Tinelli, Big Wes, Tierney. Midfield, Oriol Romeo, Ki Sung Jung, and Mario Lamina makes his return because it's a bit of a risk. I want to rest to Delaney. Probably Chelsea isn't the best game for it, but Lamina's back in. Kravinovic also starts. Dembele and Gabudini up front. Thomas Delaney drops to the bench. Jordi Classy moves onto the bench. And Nathan Dyer also moves onto the bench. Because he might come on as an attacking midfielder or a striker if I need him. I don't know. Chelsea are quite clearly favourites. However, Greg Taylor from ESPN reckons it will be a draw. I don't quite get how that Chelsea side is mid-table. When you look at some of the players on the bench, like Rudiger, Murata, they signed Matt Ryan apparently, they've signed Steven and Zonzi. That's a very good side, and somehow they're currently only 11th. Calmly give the fans their money's worth. Do I want to, do I want to say anything to you? Oh, let's try it. Assertively, show me what you've got. I want to see a good display. He didn't care either way. That's fine. A win here could propel us way, way up the league because it's early on. Key with the corner. It's gone to the back post. Gabbiadini. Dembele has scored. Was he offside? That's my change to my corner tactic. So I've put corner takers and I've also told him to put it at the back post. Key can apparently do that. Key with the corner to the back post. Gabbiadini comes in with a header. Courtois parries it. Gabbiadini and Big Wes get in a fight. But Dembele puts it in. I think it was Big Wes. Doesn't matter. It's a goal. We're 1-0 up. Lamina. We're only eight minutes in. Lamina plays it to Key in the centre of the pitch. Romeu. Romeu's got Dembele in forward. In forward in front of him. Lamina. Kravinovic. Key. Lamina. Kravinovic. Gabbiadini. It's 2-0. We are ripping Chelsea apart. Kravinovic, Lamina and Key were passing it round like they've, they've played football together for years. Gabbiadini slots into the bottom corner. 2-0 up against Chelsea and we're not even 10 minutes played. Throw on. David Luiz. Big Wes gets it clear. Only as far as Luiz again. As Piaqueta. Crosses it into the back post. Hazard has hit the post. It's come clear. Kante. Rodriguez. That's the end of the highlight. Well, okay. Another long throw. It's come back out from Romeo to Luiz. As Piaqueta. Again. Luiz. Keep pushing him back. Keep pushing him back. As Piaqueta. Dybala. Dybala's made some space. William. William's made even more space and he's put it into the top corner. It's 2-1. 20 minutes played. This is probably going to be the first match on match of the day tonight. Dybala plays it to William. William turns his man. Gets acres of space. Who was his man? Number 12. It was Key. 
Forster wasn't going to stop that. It's 2-1. Dybala. Willian. This looks like a counter-attack from Chelsea. Willian has got round his man. Dybala. It is 2-2. 25 minutes played. The counter-attack from Chelsea. So Willian gets round his man. Crosses it in. Unmarked in the middle. Dybala was never going to miss that, was he? Tonelli. 26 minutes. 27 minutes. What is happening? Jung. Delaney, Lamina, it's not Del- Delaney, he's on the bench. Dembele plays it back to Tierney. Tierney's a bit of a risk today because he's a bit tired. Lamina, Gabbiadini, Romeu, Key, Lamina, Gabbiadini. Back to Key, back to Lamina. Tierney, Key. Key is pulling the strings. I'm loving that. Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini to Kravinovic, doesn't get that. Dembele does, and it is 3 2. We're not even half an hour played. Five goals in half an hour. Gabbiadini plays the through ball. Kravinovic and Dembele. Nope. Azpilicueta. That was an embarrassment. Why did Azpilicueta not just clear that? Again, I don't care. It's a goal for us. It's a corner for Chelsea. I can't breathe. I actually cannot breathe. It's three all. Still not half an hour played. Do either side have goalkeepers and defence? I just want to know because so far, pretty much everything that's been on target has gone in. Kante lashes at whoever that was on the post. I'm guessing Tierney. Yep, and Tierney just did nothing about it. Okay, I think I can breathe now. All the goals have happened. It's half time. It's three all. What is happening here? Strike force playing absolutely amazing. Assertively, I'm I am happy. Defence, you need to pull your finger out. I'm not happy with your defensive work. Good. Have have I done a good team talk? Have I actually done a good team talk there? You wait. This highlight will result in a goal, and then I'm going to be very annoyed. Thank Christ for that. Hazard's injured. Doesn't matter. Kravinovic. Tierney. Tierney's got three Chelsea players on. He finds Kravinovic. Romelu. Romelu's got Dembele. He finds Jung instead. Jung takes on his man. Crosses it in. Gabbiadini. It is 4-3 Southampton. Where are these goals coming from? Where are all of these goals suddenly coming from? Romeo plays it out to Jung, which I thought was a bit of a strange move at the time. Jung crosses it in. I got really distracted then by a substitute doing jumping jacks. Gabby Tini puts the ball into the back of the net. It's 4 3, 51 minutes on the clock. This is an exciting game. Both Gabby Dini and Dembele are on hat tricks. Both of them. Who's going to get there first? It's probably going to be Willian, isn't it? Well, Pedro. Who, who has he scored? Dybala, that guy. Jung tackles Hazard. Romeo. Is this going to be five? Key. Plays it back to Jung. Jung, can you play it through? Romeo. Dembele's in front of him. Dembele does get there. Dembele's shot was pretty weak and Courtois easily saves it. I want to do a sub, but I really can't afford to change this. Like Tierney probably needs to come off. Key probably should come off. David Luiz takes a long throw. Key gets it clear only as far as Aspia Quetta. Where have we seen this before? Luiz. Fabregas. Aspia Quetta. Just go through him. Tierney, you absolute legend. Go through him as well. Yes, he's done it. Kravinovic now. Kravinovic, you you should have taken your time. It's gone forward to Dybala. Tonelli with a header. Kravinovic, Lamina, Gabbiadini. Gabbiadini's got no one in front of him. It doesn't matter. Gabbiadini makes it 5-3. It's a hat-trick for Gabbiadini. He's taken that match ball home. Dembele must be a little bit annoyed because he probably could have passed to him. Who might have been in a less arguably... Dembele, well Dembele should have moved into the gap but didn't bother. Gabbiadini, side foot into the top corner. Courtois is having an absolute shocker. My goalkeeper's not doing too much better than him. It's 5-3. I think it's now time for subs. Kravinovic for Dyer. Not the best plan I've had. Tierney can come off as well for Matt Target. I just want to give Nathan Dyer a game if I'm honest. It looks like these subs are going to make literally no difference as well. Willian with a free kick, he's put it over the bar, and that is the end of the game. And how in the hell did we pull that one off? 9.6 for Gabby Dini, 8.8 for Dembele. Arguably, Key, from what I saw in the highlights anyway, should have got man of the match in that one. Lamina gets an 8 as well, I'm so glad he's gone back in the team, his morale's gone flying back up. Passionately, I'm happy, very, very happy. Not everyone was happy, but that's okay. That moves us back up to 8th place. And that will do for this episode. We are sat 8th in the table. We are 3 points behind Europa League, Champions League. Obviously, it's way too soon to tell. Great start in the Europa League as well with a 2-0 victory against Sevilla. Up next, we might jump to Arsenal? Arsenal to lose, maybe? 
I don't obviously I don't want to do all Europa League games, but I kind of want to keep keep you involved. So yeah, we'll probably go Arsenal to lose. I think so. A nice tough game there, and hopefully a nice easy one against to lose in the Europa League. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Football Manager 2017. If you did enjoy, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like, if you want to see more, you can hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.